Welcome back to the video. My name is Val, and this is today we are actually I finally beating the Owens army on PS4. Because I the reason why is I never fought this army. I finally figured out a strategy that works. So today I figured out to teach you guys how to beat the Owens army on PS4. This is, and if you guys do not know what you're into like me, it is extremely difficult when you hit Betsy. This is tier three, by the way. This is the hardest tier. So did you guys have the old Betsy? What weapons you definitely should get, and what recommended, and yeah. Now, now the best thing you need for this is I would definitely recommend killing Moon Lord before one's army, or if the opposite, you can, you can kill. All, but just get some. Now, the first thing you want is something a weapon that can pierce. A piercing weapon is extremely good during the old one's army funk it will. Red through enemies, and and with a piercing weapon like the Meowmir, you can get through a lot of enemies really fast. Same thing with the same thing with bows that can help be helpful too. But yeah, also this is part of another video. Another thing you're gonna want to do also is make a flat area. The the better the part of the area is, the better it should be. And make sure you have a good place to place a crystal. Now, that's the most important thing I'm gonna talk about is you need a rainbow crystal, if or, or something that can like a force, the force trap type job or something. It is extremely useful for this event. Not only will it help you out during this event, it will not it will help a lot of people out, and of course. Make sure you have a type of turret. I went with the flame blast turret, which is anger. It's so bad. This is anger, and I still managed to win against this army. So it is extremely good. And for the crystals and the hydra, make sure you reset it every two waves. All right. With that said, we'll start. Also, bet, and I will tell you guys how the deal Betsy when we get towards them. As you guys can see, the piercing weapon is shredding these rogues, werewolves, extremely easily. Let's get, unlike this, unlike other weapons like this, which are good for a bit, but not extremely good against enemies. Unlike this, so. And then another thing you want to show is you have to you you I recommend. The crystal make it try to keep it above five like four thousand health because that will be really simple four thousand so four thousand health you should keep it if you want to have a good time not die to it all right now some of the important part what is soon every single match after you have to place down at least one or two turrets I'll do what I'm doing one on each side which is extremely helpful for crowd control. You know, I'll put one in the middle too. What this allows you to do, it allows you allows you to more do more AFK spawns. All right, let's get these guys. And Betsy is the hardest part of this event, but. When Betsy comes, you just gotta focus on Betsy and the flying enemies. The, the flying enemies and Betsy are the most important things. If the flight field on any of the flying enemies get to your thing, it is extremely hard to deal with. So I have to see right now, I am really doing a great job clearing out the old one's army. Remember, this is only wave two, and we're still almost ex close to being done. And the, actually, the rainbow crystal is extremely useful. And every single time you're done with this, you should put re the your every single wave. I'll definitely recommend replacing a rainbow crystal so it doesn't run out on you, because it will eventually run out. And if you do it during Betsy before you place a new one, you, you're gonna take a ton of damage, basically being lost. Also make sure you have heal potions on you. And by the way, guys, I beat this without any buff potions. So if you have a potion that you on you, you can still win. 
with these types. All right, so the inferior wyvern. These are the things that you should really look out for. These things will do a ton of damage to your thing. So they are flying enemies right there. The target on those things when they come towards you. Any of the flying enemies are a must for targeting. And also you can you could do what I do, you do this too. But it isn't very risky if you just like, you know, one more turret down. And also get some sort of summoner pet. Because they will help you so much. I'm using a Tempest staff right now, but they will still help you. Well, I recommend the Stardust Dragon staff. And the good thing about this, guys, is I can just summon it in like that without worrying about getting. Also, make sure you buy some sort of turret before you do this. My suggestion is the Flame Burst turrets, because I think they're the best, personally. I don't find the Zapper turrets too good against enemies. Right, let's go, let's go place down some more turrets. And then we gotta renew our staff. So yeah, it's pretty simple. But now I'm gonna talk about how to deal with the, 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 the mage. I think it's like the Dark Mage or something? Yeah, Dark Mage. Dark Mage is really simple to deal with. If you know how to deal with him. Or her, I don't know. But the Dark Mage will spawn. And will summon old one skeletons, which are an enemy. Like a with your piercing rack thing, quickly make sure these things don't touch you. Because right there, that's how you know there's a dark mage nearby. And as you see I did as we just we did six hundred of them. So yeah, so like I said, this is really simple. If you have one of the two, basically. The hardest fight, the part of the event is definitely, um, that seat. And guess what, I'm taking no damage right now. Alright, kill some more. Almost there, I think we're about to reach the next wave. Come on, Dark Mage. Come on. There we go. Let's get, oh, let's get that thing. Alright, let's, let the turrets do what they do best. Kill the Dark Mage. Pick up all the loot. And renew our crystal. That is, just a, like I said, it's a really simple strategy. If you know what you're doing. I'm actually going to put two over here. Perfect. And then... Like I said, renew your dragon crystal. No need to renew your summoning pet because it will automatic. It will never run out unless you die. Now here comes the ogre. The ogre, all you gotta do is chuck as much projectiles at it and focus on the ogre. Because if it gets to the crystal, it will do massive damage. And it will cause a debuff that will slow you down. But as long as you have a flying mount or some sort of mount that will keep you above the ground, it will not affect you. Flying in it, and I see guys. See, we're already shredding this. We're already on wave five already. And there's another ogre. Like you have to play chess to the ogre, so if you don't, they're gonna do some damage. Just, just it's 28 to our thing. I just gotta pay attention to these things. Cause the other crystals, 4,800. It does regen health too. So that's why I'm saying try to take as less damage as possible. Right. No ogres? Okay. Alright, let's do wave six. This is the last wave before Betsy. So this is the this is where you need your defenses. The wave before Betsy, I would definitely suggest as much defenses as possible. Because Betsy will shred you if you don't have defenses. A turret. That's so this is why I do get that any potions. Now I am gonna use health potions because and you only need like one during the fight if you have a terrain. The terrain takes quick work of Betsy actually. All right, and there's an ogre right away. Remember, target the ogre. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Now we will be doing this on our playthrough eventually, so this is really helpful for me.
And hard mode, Betsy, I think, drops the treasure bag, I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, Betsy does, but we're gonna try to attempt this in hard mode. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, extra mode. I can't see today, sorry. Another dark mage, another ogre. Focus on the ogre, but no dark mage. There's a dark mage, focus on the ogre. Because ogres still do a ton of more damage. And then when the ogre's dead, then go for the dark mage. Oh no, wait, there's another ogre. Yeah, this is a really easy farm. You could also, really good weapon to use a solar eruption. If you really still have voice. Really any Terraboid is also really going influx waiver just a ton. Just weapons that have projectiles will do a lot. Guns do a lot. And we are about to hit wave. Now it's about to Betsy. Now, unlike other enemies, Betsy does focus on the player. So this is really hard if you want if you're trying to have a And guess what? There is still more of these guys. Let's get rid of the old one. Now I do also really do like Alright, let's place down our chart before Betsy comes. One so yeah, when Betsy comes, you cannot place any more turrets. Like, she will destroy you if you do. And Betsy should be here. There's Betsy. Alright, now make sure you guys keep towards the ground, too. With your projectile weapon, because if you go up too high, the enemies will quickly do quick damage of the other guy. So make sure you just keep on targeting Betsy. Just work on Betsy. And then the flying enemies. Betsy, the flying enemies are your must enemies. As you guys can see, Betsy's taking a ton of damage right now. Come on, Betsy! Oh, I know I'm using a Terraria just because of how good it is. For Betsy, this is a weapon that has homing on Betsy. Like, in plus flavor will be really good. You're attacking the crystal, which is fine. That's again. Now, make sure you do heal off still during this. Because Betsy does do a bit of damage to you. Oh no, they're getting the crystal, getting the crystal, they're getting the crystal. Focus on Betsy, remember. Focus on Betsy, guys. Betsy is almost dead, come on! Three, yay! We did it, we beat Betsy, guys. It was a celebration of that. Everything else dies. So yeah, that's a really easy way to just defeat the O1 army without getting destroyed. As you guys can see, we have another Betsy weapon. It's called Betsy's Wrath. I have not, let's still see what this thing does. Whoa! Now it is a mana weapon, so I'm definitely just from a mage character. But yeah, uh, that is today's video. Um, how to beat this tutorial was... It's pretty simple. Just camp and set up, just get a flying mount. And my biggest thing is fight Martian Madness before this. Because if you get your hands on the cost of key card, you are good. Just because I knew you tier 3 unlocks after you defeat Gollum. So, Lunatic Cultist you could do too to snag the, uh, snag the special weapons. Like, for example, uh, Nebula Blade should be really good with it. Nebula, the Arcanum, the stuff that, like, there was a lot of good stuff you can use with this, and I'm gonna say this right now, I will, I am trying to make a video going over all the weapons for the O1's army, and what everything does, so yeah, make sure you guys take it for that, and if you guys, I'm gonna say this right now, thank you guys for watching, I'm, I spent a bit of time on this video, it took me a really long time, but yeah, second time right there, really easy, if you know what you're doing. Alright, see you guys.